Hey, what's up, Patrick? Good morning. Good morning. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Carson and I are going to be on the next season again of Music's Greatest Mysteries. Oh, cool. Uh, as we went and did our filming. But one of the things that they asked me to look into was Napster. Y'all remember that? You remember yeah. Napster? Yeah, my mom was a Napster gangsta. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, she was mom. a Napster gangsta. <laughs> we was. make a lot of jokes about how, you know, uh, we made one the other day, but the music industry, they guard everything like it's a you know state secret. Yeah. And they, well, I, I think it's, they just have PTSD from the days of Napster, where these things would get leaked and then end up out before it was even released, and everyone would just share it and give it away for free. Uh huh. Because music sales peaked in like 2000, 2001, and then they started going down every year until, a, I don't know, about 10 years ago when streaming kind of kicked in. But it really did. It gutted the whole music industry. It's amazing it still exists. It still exists? The music industry does. Oh, I'm saying oh, it's amazing. Napster. <laughs> Napster. <laughs> no, Napster no, doesn't. They filed for bankruptcy hey boy, in they... the early aughts. Yeah. But, uh, no, I was looking into it, like, crazy things. Like, Napster came up with the idea of, well, we could just get p- people to pay a dollar for each download. And they were like, nope, not going to do that. And then iTunes came along five years after they went bankrupt and did that. And they were like, what if we found a way to, to send music to people on a stream and they could just pay a subscription and then they would, and music industry were like, nope, I'm not going to let you do that either. And then now Spotify and Amazon and Apple are all doing that. So it's just, it's crazy to think that they, they really changed the whole thing. I uh, downloaded uh, uh, California Girls. I wish they, <laughs> it was in German. Oh, nice. And I was like, gosh, dang it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not the one do I wanted. Do you remember what the most downloaded song was off Napster at its very inception? No. Come on, Eileen, from Dexy's Midnight Runners. Yes, because nobody had that record. No, nope. nobody had that. It was such an obscure thing. And then all of a sudden, everybody, that the uh, Take On Me by AHA was huge on, really? on Napster and then on iTunes because people were like, oh, I love that song. I have no idea who sang it. My mom, and I would never buy that record. My mom bought, I say bought, she downloaded a bunch of old, like, obscure french cajun music you know mm-hmm. stuff that <laughs> yeah. you could not get yeah. anywhere else mm-hmm. but it was on napster and she bought uh, downloaded yeah. your mom was Download. a criminal Baba, yeah, i know just I, know. I, I know I, to, if you wonder how much it affected the way music's made i was walking down a hallway years ago at sony music and sony had it was in a building that used to be the rca record label rca arista all these famous you know alan jackson and all these other people clint black and i'm walking down the hall and it was like this kind of hall on the outside of the building where they never go and it had gold records top floor to ceiling all the way down this long hall gold like elvis's racquetball court no yes it looked like elvis's racquetball court but it was like every album released in the 90s went gold which means it sold a half million copies like Mindy McCready's second album that nobody can name a song off of. They, they put it out and went gold. All they had to do, if you had one kind of hit song, you'd sell a half million copies of the record because that was the only way to get the song that you liked. Mm-hmm. And that whole business model just disappeared because two guys in a dorm room yeah. went, oh, we'll just make let people share music. That's, uh, that's crazy. Crazy. Hey, if you like that video, go ahead, like, subscribe, click the bell. You yeah. know. You have been told what to do. Do it.